In this video, I'm going to be going through examples of finding the modulus and argument of these numbers. Okay? So uh, be aware that we're always going to be using radians and, uh, for the argument. And uh, you really want to make sure that you draw a diagram so you can visually see where that complex number is so that you know that you're getting that right angle, okay? the correct angle. So let's have a look at this first one, nice and simple to start off with. So here's our argon diagram. Here's 3 on the real axis. Okay, so first of all, what is its length? So the modulus of 3, well, the length from the origin to 3 is just 3. The argument of 3, okay, well, what is the angle that this number is making with the real axis? 0. So the argument is 0. Right, let's take a look at 5i. Okay, so I'm not interested in that one anymore. So 5i would be up here. Okay, so what is its length? So the distance it is away from the origin is just going to be 5. The argument of 5i is the angle that it is making with the positive real axis, okay, going that way around. And of course, that is uh, pi over 2. Okay, 90 degrees. So that's pi over 2. Right, let's have a look at minus 3i now. So minus 3i is down here somewhere. So now we're going down there. Right, well, its distance from the origin is clearly still 3. So that's simple. The argument of minus 3i is this angle here, okay? And remember, we're going to have it as negative because we're below the real axis now. And so that's going to be minus pi over 2. Okay? Right, let's have a look at minus 2 now. So, I'm not having to doctor this. So, minus 2 is over here. Now, the distance it is away from the origin is clearly just 2. The argument, okay, the argument of a complex number is taken to be um, from, so you can kind of think it in interval notation, as minus pi up to pi, okay, where I've got a curved bracket because minus pi is not included, but pi is. So, you might be thinking that I could describe that as pi, okay, the angle is pi, or as minus pi, but convention puts it that minus pi isn't included, okay? It goes all the way up to as far as you can get to minus pi, but not actually including it. So, we would describe that as pi, okay? Right, let's have a look at this next one, so 1 plus i. Right, there's 1 plus i. We are 1 along and 1 up. OK. So the length of this complex number, the modulus of it, is using Pythagoras, the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared. So root 2. The argument is this angle here. Of course, that's 45 degrees, so that's pi over 4. OK? Right. Next one. What have we got? Minus 2 plus 3i. So minus 2 plus 3i, so something like this. So that's minus 2, that's 3. Imaginary real axis. Okay, so the length, the length of that line segment there, so that's the square root of uh, 2 squared plus 3 squared, so root 13. Its argument 
is this angle here. Okay, so if I work out that angle and subtract it from pi, then I've got the angle that I want. So this angle here, okay, so that's 3 and 2, is going to be the inverse tan of the opposite over the adjacent. So 3 over 2. So remember your calculator needs to be in degrees, uh, sorry, in, in radians, get the right way around. So that angle's 0 0.982, etc. Subtract it from pi, and we get 2. 158, etc. So 2.16 radians to 3 sig fig. 2.16. Okay, let's look at the next one. So 4 take away i. So 4 take away i, something like this. So 4 minus 1. OK, so the length of that will be the square root of 4 squared plus 1 squared, so root 17. The argument is going to be this angle here. So that's 1 and that's 4. So inverse tan of 1 over 4, 0.2449, etc. So because it's below the real axis, we're looking at negative 0.245 radians to 3 sig fig. Okay. Let's have a look at the next one. So minus 2 take away 9i. Minus 2, take away 9i, so something like this. So it's minus 9, that's minus 2, imaginary, real. Okay, so that's length 9, that's length 2, isn't it? Okay, so what we got then, the length is the square root of 2 squared plus 9 squared. So that's root 85. The argument is this angle here. So if I work out that angle there first, so that's going to be the inverse tan of 9 over 2. So that's 1.352, etc. Subtract that from pi. And I get this angle, 1.7894. Now, because it's below the real axis, that would be negative 1.79 radians to 3 sig fig. Okay? Right, last one. Zero. Well, hopefully, you can guess what the modulus is, right? Because the distance it is away from the origin is zero. The argument, however, okay, now think about that. What angle is it making with the real axis? Now, because it's of zero length, um, that cannot be determined. OK, so you could theoretically, it could be pointing in every direction or any direction. And so the argument of zero is undefined. I'll put is undefined. OK, so it's a curious one uh, where we have any co every complex number has an argument uh, apart from zero. Okay, that is the odd one out.